<laughs> so we're here at uh, Marvel at Computex 2009. And uh, could you could you explain a little bit the, about the, this Marvel processor? So well, what you see here, you know, this is our next generation embedded processor. Yeah. Now uh, Marvel has a ARM CPU li ARM architecture licensing. So we have uh, here the ARM core. We have we, we, we don't call it ARM core. It's an ARM compliant core because we have an architecture license. It's our core uh, built ground up from the soft. You know, from the all the hardware is our hardware. Uh, this is actually ARM V5T compliant, which is uh, which is in ARM world it will be ARM 9. But then again, you know, performance wise, we are as good as ARM. Uh, um, V7, you know, the first generation of Cortex 8 core, okay. we are doing better than that in performance. We're running at 1.2 gigahertz, and we also have this uh, WMMX2, which is comes from our Intel in Intel days of uh, our processor development, yeah. where we have we kind of you know made a lower power version of the MMX, which goes with the Intel X86 processor, and that uh, it, it is compliant with the Intel SSC1 compliant processor. It gives us a much better, you know, performance in the, all the video, especially the video and graphics. It can also accelerate some of the audio stuff. So, in, 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 you know, like with this 1.2 gigahertz processor, we are doing up to, you know, a full, uh, like uh, 720p, the HD video. Yeah. We can decode that. We are also doing uh, very fast JPEG processing. We are also doing uh, great processing performance up to, uh, you know, like H.264 uh, videos. And this is now focusing on to like you know low end MID markets, uh, photo frame markets, and uh, you know like uh, VoIP systems, and also focusing to some of the uh, some of the other embedded market, especially the ebook and other embedded market. So ebook, did you say that? Yeah. You said that at the end e of the yeah. sentence. Yeah. Ebook uh, market, not not uh, notebook. Did you say that? In the, in the list uh, no, of uh, I said that MID, low end MID. Low end but MID. we have an, uh, other processors which can do like you know uh, focusing more on to uh, more on to you know in future we have more higher performance processor which we are focusing more on to the network market. But this this kind of form factor. This kind of form factor, but again it is not a XP PC. It's more to like uh, more into the Linux space. So Linux, but uh, still uh, like usable for people who want internet, who people who yeah. want yeah. media, so video. Not, not the people who want to do office work, you know. Like, yeah. But the people who want to enjoy internet, enjoy video, enjoy graphics, want a simplified UI, yeah. and that's that's why we're targeting, you know. Is there uh, is there so right now this is on the market right now. These are on the market right now. And, but is there any official officially announced? Uh, officially dates announced, you know, we have all all of those things are still under development. Nothing officially announced. One thing we have officially announced is this. Pogo plug is cool, yeah. is awesome. Yes. Yes. And it's selling now? It's, it's you know ready for market now. Yeah. Uh, what we have here is that this uses our same yeah. CPU that almost same CPU. A different chip though because it is made for that product yeah. and what we are doing in this plug computer now is that this is just think of it as a very small computer which is always on and uh, you know you can always have a big PC at home and uh, but this one is to you know have your content which is like you know really because it's always on, it's low power, no screen, no, no screen, screen but you know you can program it uh, in a remote from your other PC. Yeah. Uh, the good thing about this is because it's always on, you can have your hard disk connected to it, and or you know just think of how much automation, yeah. home automation you can do. Yeah. You know, like you can have you have a small part of your computer with all your data which is yeah. always on. But the hard disk when it's on, when it's connected, it's using kind of a lot of power, you know, more more than a Pogo uh, plug. Sure, but I know, but just think of compare it with the desktop always yeah. on. Uh, it's, it's you know it's yeah. a, like. Ten, one tenth of the power yeah. that you are talking about. When yeah. the desktop on is a few hundred watts, yeah. you know. But this yeah. we are talking about maybe yeah. about ten of. Ten you still of need watts. to have the USB hard disk running all the time. So, but what I was wondering is if anybody has thought of trying to turn off the, the USB hard disk when you're not so, using it. So, so this uh, devices in future will also have wake on LAN features. So yeah. you know uh, when you don't have any activity, you can shut down yeah. the hard disk. And uh, you know there's a lot of innovation is going into it, like in, in a kind of. Uh, this is just like I, I, how I see. This is the beginning of this kind of concept that you have a small computer which is always yeah. on, but uh, then you know there's so much innovation that can go through it yeah. because right now if you see like half of our data is on net, and this actually allows your own data to put into yeah. net, which are 
spending a lot of it, it's spending a lot of electricity. So you don't need to uh, only count on storing everything in the cloud. You can have a copy at home because exactly. hard disks are so cheap. Okay. Yeah, and actually what I uh, mean is that this gives you the same data everywhere. Okay. I mean, without putting on the whole computer. Yes. Okay. Right, but thanks a lot. Thanks.